Hi Aries, this is your bonus reading for November 2022, Universal Images. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for November 2022, in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see oh, for the star sign of Aries for November 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of aries for november 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com so aries Aries, this is a mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe a partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Aries, this is you. This is your partner. So, Aries, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For November 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aries, is the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that someone's physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or someone is saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries and their partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries and their partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries and their partner. It is clarified with the Three of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So listen, Aries, you can tell me that we have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that, hey, we're reuniting here. Or there was a third party. So Aries, listen, you know, it very well could be that, hey, you know, maybe someone has just cause to celebrate some type of movement or travel here. Aries, you can tell me that we're putting things behind us and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones and reuniting. Or you're telling me that someone is wanting to move out, move on and move away from the relationship because there was a third party. Aries, you have the world. You have the moon. You have the four cups. Your partner has what? The chariots. Your partner has strength. And your partner has the page of swords. So, Aries. The mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds is maybe someone has just cause to celebrate because there's some type of travel or moving here. Yes. Aries, you can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. We're reuniting. Or someone is saying they want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because there was a third party. Aries, you have the world. 
So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aries. Clarify the world for Aries. Clarify the world for Aries. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You know, Aries, it could be some coins at a distance here, some type of travel, having just cause to celebrate with some type of travel here, Aries. However, Aries, you can tell me that, you know, you're thinking long and hard here on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship, whether or not you should just close out the cycle completely, or whether or not we're going to go back around again to one another. Aries, you have the moon. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. You know, the star is also a travel card. One, two, three, four travel cards here. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aries, listen, you can tell me you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy. Or you're telling me they're keeping something close to your chest here. So Aries, listen, is there something, some type of secret or something at a distance here, Aries, that you're keeping close to your chest here? Thinking long and hard about some type of travel? Aries, is it an element of the unknown because of the distance here? Okay, maybe this is why you're kind of holding off here. Aries, I mean, did you get your wish with some type of coins and you're being stingy here? Listen, Aries, you have the four cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Aries, very well could be an offer coming into you. You're thinking about missing. But you could be contemplating sending a offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the four of cups for Aries. Clarify the four of cups for Aries. Clarify the four of cups for Aries. 
It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something. Yes. You can tell me there was some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama here. You know, it could be some drama going on here because you're, you're not wanting this offer. Yes. But Aries, I just feel like you're conflicted within about accepting an offer. And you may also be conflicted within about maybe making an offer here. Maybe using your intuition here. Maybe thinking long and hard about whether or not to go back around again. So Aries, listen, you know, it very well could be some type of just cause to celebrate with some type of travel here. But it could also be about putting things behind us and reuniting and coming back around to one another here. It's just an element of unknown here and fear here. Aries, your partner has the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Aries, <clears throat> excuse me, could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot for Aries. Okay. King of Cups. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot. For Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So listen, Aries, you know, your partner could tell me that there's something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack. However, your partner could tell me that there's a breakup. Now, Aries, is it that, you know, we're breaking up over some type of travel? Is it that we're wanting to travel to deal with this coin situation here? Because maybe it's some type of abundance somewhere at a distance here, Aries. Or Aries, your partner saying that, you know, you guys are breaking up and they're moving forward here. Hmm. Aries, your partner has strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lust, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. So Aries could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So listen, your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that they found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Aries, partner, it is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, listen, you know, this could all be work or business here, okay? But your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work here. So Aries, listen, it very well could be. You know, there's some type of good news with work or business and they're trying to be strong concerning it. Mm -hmm. 
Aries, your partner could tell me that they're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in to apologize because they want to work things out here. However, your partner could tell me that it's you coming in to apologize to work things out here. And they're kind of restraining themselves, restricting themselves, holding themselves back. But I don't think so because I feel like you're hesitant over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Aries, your partner has the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me it was some immature, premature communication had here. Yes. Or they weren't looking at spying. Clarify the page of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guard guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have their guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground. <clears throat> so Aries, listen, you guys could be having this immature, premature communication concerning some type of offer for maybe some type of travel, maybe work or business dealing with these coins. And your partner is saying, you know what? I'm standing my ground with this. Okay. Because maybe they're just trying to restrain, like hold back from some type of good news concerning work or business here. And I hope you don't break up over some type of travel here. But Aries, your partner could tell me that they weren't looking at spying here. Something that they don't trust, so they're going to do their research, Aries. So Aries, listen, I feel like it's some type of travel here. And maybe having just cause to celebrate, but someone has an issue with it, Aries. You know, it could also be that we're wanting to work things out. Wanting to reunite here and put things behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. But either you're hesitant about taking this offer or they're kind of holding back from coming with the offer here or holding back from accepting the offer. It's almost like someone's hesitant about this offer, okay? You both are you here and them here. Aries, this is your bonus reading for November 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.